Ever hate that feeling during a job interview when you are awkwardly put in the same waiting room with your fellow human competition? You want to be polite to them, but at the same time, they are competing with you and trying to take your job, so you can't help but to secretly glare at them, well at least on the inside. Well humans should be the last thing on your worry list in the next 10 years because maybe the robot terminators that were trying to replace humans in John Cameron's blockbuster movie The Terminator might no longer just be a mere fantasy. A study conducted in the Oxford University found out that 45% of current jobs will disappear in the next 10 years with some of them being completely automated or at least automated to some point where the fraction of the human workforce is needed. This can apply for both white and blue collar jobs. In this video, we're going to cover the top 5 jobs that might disappear in the next 10 years due to AI, artificial intelligence, robots, and technology. We as humans should address these potential concerns for certain jobs that are at the most risk of being completely replaced by AI in the future and make sure we are aware of it and not caught by surprise if and when a robot does take away your job. So stick around to the end of the video and learn something. As always, please take that extra second to smash the subscribe button and also the like button to support our channel. Okay, let's get right to it. Number 1 is fast food workers. I find this one kind of ironic. I remember when my teachers used to say, if that you don't do well in school, you will end up flipping burgers at your local fast food joint. Now even these jobs are a risk. Think about the last time you visited a fast food restaurant and noticed that they have multiple self-ordering kiosks where you can order your own food. Now take a look and notice that the registers with human cashiers taking your orders have been reduced to just a few in some places, half of what it used to be. The kiosks have officially replaced the need for human cashiers, and that is not even 10 years from now. Essentially, what the owners of the fast food restaurants are doing is reducing the human labor workforce and training you and I, the consumers, to be able to order our own food on these self-checkout kiosks with little to no need for interaction with costly human employees. The fast food restaurants can save on salaries, medical benefits, insurances, and they do not need to worry about the pesky human workforce complaining and protesting for minimum wage hikes and better benefits. Kiosk usage is up 6% year on year, with more than a third of customers saying they've used one in the past year. And 30% say they prefer them over cashiers. The tech is resonating with customers across age demographics. It's simpler to do that than to, to talk and try to communicate with another person, as weird as that sounds. I think it's more convenient. To take it another step further, eliminating the cashier is just the beginning, as now there are robotic cooks that have taken over the traditional human burger flipping jobs. In this video clip, you will see a fully automated robotic hand flipping burgers, putting french fries in the fryer, and multitasking these tasks efficiently without complaint and need for a break. There will be changes in the way workers are hired and, and the types of jobs available, but what does that mean? Does that mean a typical restaurant in the future might have fewer human employees than it does now? I, I, think, I think that is, is very possible. A new concept for making pizzas now on display at a Frisco restaurant. Red Mango and Pizza Jukebox showed off its brand new robot that makes pizza, serves frozen yogurt, and a lot more. The robot they call Flippy 2. The chain installed the original bot in one of its restaurants in the Chicago area last year. Flippy 2 is a smaller version that performs more human functions. White Castle has plans to roll it out in up to 10 of its 360 restaurants. There's been multiple restaurants in the U.S. that have adopted full automated fast food restaurants and around the world. So you bet this will be a trend and these robots will only get more advanced and efficient as time goes. At some point, this will replace the human labor by half if not entirely. Now, if you don't do well in school, you can't even flip burgers anymore because a robot will have taken your job. Number two, commercial drivers. Whether rideshare, delivery, truck drivers, these jobs are on the high risk of being replaced with artificial intelligence and self-driving technology. This should come as no surprise as self-driving cars are the way of the future. We already have self-driving features in the very early stages, but there's a huge possibility that self-driving cars will be mainstream in the next 10 years. Companies like Tesla and Uber are spearheading the way toward the driverless future and with self-driving AI cars, there will be no need for human drivers, hence no need for the jobs that require drivers. That means rideshare drivers, taxi drivers, truck drivers, delivery drivers will all have to look for new jobs if and when these self-driving features become commercialized. There are a few rideshare companies that have made news with their ongoing battles with rideshare drivers who have been classified and recognized as employees. 
Uber and Lyft drivers will get money from a multi-million dollar settlement. New York announced a $328 million wage theft settlement for more than 100,000 drivers. Uber agreed to pay $290 million. Lyft will pay $38 million. Investigators with the state attorney general's office found the companies shortchanged drivers and violated labor law. With employees, of course, come benefits, insurance, retirement plans, which will be very costly for employers. So instead, they're making a preemptive strike by just replacing the need for human drivers by automating cars with self-driving technology. If this really does happen in the future, you can imagine the sheer amount of drivers that will be out of work. Aurora went public through a SPAC, raising $2 billion. The company spent the first few years working on autonomy for cars, but had its eye on trucking as well. Cars are a lot easier to operate, but we knew that the software and the system was ultimately going to have to work on trucks as well. We saw that as a huge opportunity, and so we designed that in. Aurora says its autonomous system will bring a number of advantages over a human driver behind the wheel. Number three, retail human cashiers. This one should be as obvious as it gets. Almost every retail store you go to, with the exception of some department stores, you will see a row of self-checkout kiosks that customers can scan their own items pay for it on their own with cash, credit cards, smartphone, etc. Fast foods like McDonald's and Panera Bread, retail stores like Target, Walgreens, and Walmart, and supermarkets like Stop and Shop all have Ceph checkout kiosks. It's the future of checking out, and experts say they're in to stay. I like it. It's super convenient. More than 3 million cashier jobs, 74% of them held by women. But in the last five years alone, 50,000 jobs have gone offline, a trend expected to continue. It does worry me because I do believe that these entry-level jobs that are applied in retail and some of the other jobs that are around will ultimately be automated out of existence. There's normally one human employee for every six to ten of these kiosks that overlooks and assists customers if they need help. That's up to ten human jobs that have been replaced and maybe even more for larger stores with more self-checkout lanes. What makes matters even worse is less and less people are paying with cash as most pay with credit card. Eventually, smartphone and even improved technology where people can scan their own items and pay on their phones will be more of the norm. It's just a matter of time. But Walmart is hardly the only store that's cutting back on cashiers these days. Target was one of the last major chains to incorporate self-scanning lanes, but now they're adding more and more. We checked the Target down the road and found three cashiers open, number five, seven, and nine. But Forbes magazine says fewer cashiers is a trend that is not slowing. Forbes says Walmart is experimenting with cashier-less Sam's Club stores right now. And new Amazon Go convenience stores are fully automated with no cashiers at all. Number four, travel agents. To be honest, I don't think I ever booked a vacation with a human travel agent. Like the rest of my millennium peers, we're in the era of the internet, and websites like TripAdvisor, Expedia, Booking.com, Priceline can book the flight and hotels you need quickly with just a credit card. Now with sites like Airbnb, people don't even have to book traditional travel packages that normally they would from travel agents. It's also easy to use and you can compare sites and do as much research as you need on your own before making your decision. There's even no need to pick up a phone or leave the comfort of your home. Travel agents in Miami. Those agents face trouble of their own thanks to do-it-yourself online bookings. It's our warning small businesses are on the brink as the big guys in Canada's travel and tourism sector get propped up. Booking.com, which is combining the benefits of OpenAI's ChatGPT with all the abilities that we have to provide an easier way for people to travel, advi advise them how to come up with their travel itineraries, ways to do, and it's basically the way I've always believed we should do is try and become what used to be a human travel agent, provide those same services, the same benefit, have an interactive conversation so people can really choose what they want. Number five, stockbrokers. Long gone are the days of Bud Fox and Gordon Gecko. Richest 1% of this country owns half our country's wealth, $5 trillion. It's the free market. And you're part of it. Stock trading, like so many other industries, is increasingly becoming more automated. And according to this article by CNBC in 2019, up to 80% of stocks are traded by machines. 80% of volume, daily volume in the US than by machines. Let me just, so, just recap. 80% yeah, of the 80%. daily volume yes. is machines. Absolutely. What, what these machines are, are picking up is, is the change in wording. The same way we analyze what the Fed is saying. 
Apps like Robinhood was the birth of a new trend where you can buy and sell stocks without your traditional broker and paying a hefty fee. Other brokerages filed a suit and now you can buy and sell stocks on the app with just a push of a button with little or no brokerage fees while eating lunch, taking the train, or even sitting on the toilet. You get the picture. No need for the pricey human interaction. And once the software takes over, you're gone. Right? So unless you understand that, you don't understand that the nature of work is changing, the nature of employment is going to change, and from a business, from a stock perspective, you already know this. And in talking to a lot of these big companies, they know their workforce is... We hope you found value in this video as we really want to bring to your attention that certain jobs that might be replaced by artificial intelligence or machines in the future, and if your job might be at risk of being lost in the next few years. Please let us know in the comments if there's any jobs that we have missed. And also, please take the second to like and subscribe and share this with someone that might be working in one of these jobs that are in threat to disappear in a few years. We really appreciate the support. It really helps the YouTube algorithm to help support our channel. Until then, stay informed. Genius Tomato out.